Even if the time goes by, oh, I'll be right here. Even if my life flashes by. Seen you all morning? Yeah. How's your day been? Um, yeah, it was okay. They didn't see you at rehearsal yesterday. You were supposed to lead. Aren't you serving tomorrow? Yeah, I'm honestly not really feeling it, so. Sarai filled in last minute. She did a great job. Her voice Can is Can you tell her to so... take me off the schedule completely? All right. You're still gonna be at service tomorrow, aren't you? She's been asking about you. Hasn't seen you in a while. Well, did you tell her I've been busy? Well, I told her about your situation and she said she'd pray about it. Why would you tell her? I thought she and Sarai were close. Well, yeah, that was before she called me a slut. So oh! Christina, are you all right? Ow! I thought you might want some tea. It's okay, it's okay. Here, let me take that. I'm fine. I can clean this up too. It's all right, I got it. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, maybe you and Sarai haven't connected for a while, but that still doesn't explain why you haven't been around. I sat next to you last week. There is more to church than just sitting in the pews, Chris. You know that. You, you just seem so distracted lately, which is somewhat understandable, given the circumstances. But then you disappeared on me this morning. I had an appointment. What appointment? Doctors. I wish you would have told me. I could have given you something if you weren't feeling well. Actually, I think I might have some teas that help with nausea. Maybe chamomile? Can we talk? Chris, if this isn't considered talking, then I don't know what we've been doing for the past few minutes. Mom. <laughs> I'm joking. What did you want to talk about? I, I'm sorry that I haven't exactly been available recently, but there's something I think you should know. Yes, there is. I want you to know that I've always been praying for you, that, that you'd have a brighter future than mine, that you'd actually have a God-fearing husband who respects you, if I've learned anything from the guys at church, that's nearly impossible. Christina! Sorry. I'm not the ignorant religious tyrant you think I am. When have I even said that? I'm not perfect. I don't know everything. And frankly, that's not my job. The all-knowingness is God's thing, yeah, you know? Yeah, I don't place those expectations on you. So if you feel that way, it's probably something from No, you this isn't about insecurity. me! Look, Chris, I didn't expect this life for you. But I have grown to see the gift in it, and maybe you should too. Has Brandon been talking to you? He told you it was Brandon. Don't act so surprised, Chris. I'm not nosy. This town is just small. I mean, yeah, I guess he's talked to you. I actually visited the church offices today to ask about some resources. They have materials and counseling that I think would be helpful for you. I'm fine. I know it may seem embarrassing or you may feel ashamed but I want you to know that God has been working in my heart to deal with all of this. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. You know, it's funny that you think that you're the one that has to deal with all this. I was too hard on you at first, and I'm sorry. But I'll be there for the delivery. What did the doctor say? What do you mean? Well, for your girl, it, it'd be helpful to know. I, I was thinking about throwing a shower or an event of some kind. There's no need. I, I know you're keen on fighting your own battles, but you can't expect child support from an irresponsible boy who doesn't even grasp the concept of protection. Mom. I I'm being honest. A child is a huge responsibility. And I want to help you. This community wants to help you. But it's really not going to be necessary. What? So you expect to take care of this all by yourself? Because there's nothing to take care of.
Mistakes, take mistakes.